Instagram with you like to see um, a kind of overview of my room before I change it um, because I am going to be painting, redoing it, putting up loads of decorations etc. Making my room look a lot less plain than it does now. The reason the walls are so bare is because I've just had my GCCEs, I've had posters up on them. Yeah, I am going to be changing it, I'm going to be painting it etc. And I will be filming that process so there will be a video on that and like about two months I want to say until it's properly finished. Hope you enjoy, if you do give it a thumbs up, leave me a comment down below and subscribe if you're new and yeah I will see you on Sunday probably for another video. Okay, so as you walk into my room um, this is what it looks like. I haven't got the biggest room but it's like the perfect size for me. Here I have my light switch just on the wall as you walk in um, and then my door which has a couple of um, dressing gowns on. Behind my door I have this full length mirror. Um, it's just pretty basic. It is from Ikea um, where a lot of my furniture from here is from. Also there's a few things like in my wall where shelves used to be but I had to change it for exams so that I'd have enough room. I've turned the exposure down a little bit so you can actually see. I'm sorry for the lighting. I can't really change that. Um, this bed is from Ikea again and it's the day bed. Also I'm just going to link as much as I can in the description box of what's in my room. I have this blanket. I'm not sure where this is from. I think it might be from Primark but again I will try and link something similar. And then I just have a lot of different cushions. Um, these two are from Primark. I'm not sure where these two are from. Um, I think I might have got them for like my birthday or something. I think these three are from Ikea. And then I just have two big sleeping pillows that I sleep on. Duh. Um, I just have this white bedding. I prefer having just like plain white bedding. Across this wall at the back, um, which is like the main wall of my room, I have this set of fairy lights. I'm sorry, it's not really focusing very well. Um, I have this set of fairy lights from Amazon. I will link them in the description box if I can find the exact ones. But if I can't, I will link something very, very similar. Um, again, like look, there's holes in my wall from where a shelf used to be, etc. Um, and then if I go around a little bit more, I have my Alex 9 drawers. Um, these again are from Ikea. On top of them, I have my record player which is a revinyl record player. It has Bluetooth which is amazing because I can connect my music to it and it acts as a speaker as well. I have the Ariana Grande Vogue magazine, um, the British Vogue one, just underneath there because I didn't really have a place for it so that just kind of stays there. This just helps get dust off the records. And I'm just going to go through these drawers very quickly just to show you um, again when I redo my room I will be doing like a full in depth room tour and just tour of everything but I'm just going to be very general. So the first two drawers are my makeup drawers. So I have my like face makeup and then here I have um, my palettes. The third drawer down is my skincare drawer. Um, so I just have my normal skincare stuff again. There will be a night routine um, slash skincare routine coming soon so stay tuned to see that. Um, the next drawer down is just my sprays and fragrances and the next drawer is hair products and there's a few folders here with just important information that I need to keep but I just have nowhere, nowhere to put them. I have my curlers, I would have straighteners in here but me and my mum share a pair of straighteners so they stay in my parents room. Um, I just have a few hair products, don't really use them but they're there if I want them. Um, this is a brush from Sephora. Um, I have body butters and like bath bombs, scrubs and everything in this drawer. Um, and this drawer is like my candle drawer. <laughs> um, I am going to be buying it a few more candles this summer so I want to just leave space for them so I've got them in this drawer and then at the back I just have a couple of makeup bags in case I want to use them and then my next drawer this is kind of just this was my school drawer just full of pens which I need to go through and sort out um, my last drawer is currently empty I don't have anything in that at the moment but again when I do I will show you going back 
to my bed. Um, I do have three drawers under my bed. That one's empty at the moment. This one has my like, gym wear. And then I have these gloves from when I went go-karting with my friend. Then I have just pyjamas in here. I do have a rug on my floor. This is from ikea again <laughs> um to the left of these drawers i have my record collection so far here's my desk um i do have a desk tour on my channel um i will link that either in the eye or the description um but i'm not going to go into depth with my desk at the moment because obviously there is already a video on it i have like this little heart thing um this is from like a vintage market i think i sell quite a few similar ones in different high street stores so i'll try and find it i don't really know what you'd call this um but it's kind of like a little wire um i got it in covent garden in i don't remember the name of the shop but it's a really like unique shop with little gifts and stuff it's really really nice um it is actually magnetic but i lost the magnets for it so i'm just using these kind of little wooden pegs from wilco's um again i don't i don't know where this is from i got it for my birthday yeah i love this quote though so i always have it there right in front of my desk just to remind me um i then have this quote which is be the best version of you um again another quote i live by and at the top i have my harry styles tickets that was honestly such a good night and a big achievement of mine um personally um, which I will go into in another video. I do have a small little windowsill here which I just keep my pens on um, just so they're out of the way and if I need them. I then just have this little like light up box thing um, it just says perks of law and it lights up um, and there's this tea light holder and a little candle holder from Ikea. I am currently starting to reread this again. Um, I got maybe like a quarter of the way through and then I stopped because of GCSEs. So now I'm going back, so I've completely forgotten this storyline. So I'm gonna go back and read this again. So I've just got it out to remind myself to read it. Um, I then have this little eye mask that my friend got me. Um, it's from the body shop, it's really, really cute. I have a spare pair of glasses in case I need them. And a box of tissues because I get hay fever and it's really annoying sometimes. A picture of New York City in it. I went on holiday to New York with my family last year and honestly the best time I've had. I absolutely loved it and so I keep that there just to remind myself. I then have my little Marc Jacobs perfume just behind it. These fake flowers are from Denalm and they did used to be in a vase but I smashed it. Oops. So they're just in this like owl wire copper thing so i have a built-in wardrobe here um so i'll just show you this um so as you open my wardrobe you can see that i have my clothes on the right hand side um so at the moment at the top i have like short kind of summer tops um so that i can easily get them out if i'm like hot i'm going to change my top or anything and then just some coats so i will probably be doing a lot of like lookbooks and everything so I'm not going to tell you where things are from um but there are just like normal kind of long t-shirts here underneath I have all of my kind of jeans um a couple of skirts um so yeah just keep all of them here have a couple of pairs of trousers not all of them fit me I need to go through and sort them out um some of them are quite old so I just need to go through and sort out the ones I want to keep and the ones I want to give to charity and then at the bottom of this side of my wardrobe, I have just spare bags, like shoulder bags. Um, they're kind of bigger bags that I would take on a day out. Um, I don't know how to really say this, so I'm going to put the name of it on the screen. But this is my go-to backpack. I would take it everywhere when I go on shoots and stuff with my friends. Um, and then I have my studio light. Um, I do actually have two, but my brother is currently borrowing that one. So I only have the stuff from one in here at the moment. Um, and then I just have my tripod. Okay, so my dad actually built this into my wardrobe, so I'm not sure whether like it will fit in every wardrobe, but we bought these rails from Ikea and these hangers are from Primark. That little gold thing, again, I'm not, I don't know where that's from. I think it might be from Primark, but I'm not too sure. Um, I got my studio lights from Amazon and they'll be linked in the description box. Um, then moving on to the other side of my wardrobe, square shelves, <laughs> I don't really know what you call them, but I will do my best to link them below as well. Up, right at the top up here, I have a couple of hard drives. I don't really know what they have on them, but um, I just keep them there so I can look back on things if I want to. You know you always have that drawer or stuff, stuff that you just don't know where to put. Well, those are in those three boxes that I need to sort out. Um, this box is full of like leads and just power cords 
um, portable chargers, things like that that kind of look messy out. Um, so I just keep them in there. Um, here I have my like camera stuff. I usually have my camera there, but as you can see, I'm filming on it. So I have just my camera box, um, a small like ring light box, a lens, um, I have that lens here, it's a 50mm one. I then have this money box which is currently empty, but I am going to be filling. Um, and my headphones, I just have two of like these small tripods that we had as a family. Um, and I just keep them there in case anyone in my family wants them. Um, I have this little remote um, camera switch thing um, that I've used in a couple of my videos and this is a lead that you connect your camera to your computer with and then as you move down um, I have just some books um, there's a couple more behind and a folder full of just like papers I then have a photo of me and my brother from primary school which is really cute and I just love keeping it there um, and a couple of frames with photos of me and my friend in them. These will go up on my wall when I redo my room. So in this box here, I just have some shorts, some like bikinis, which don't fit me, but I need to, I'm just keeping them there. Um, and some like strappy tops. That has like underwear and everything, so I'm not gonna show you. That one is empty at the moment. Moving down to the bottom of my wardrobe, um, I have just my small bags. I keep most of my shoes are downstairs but I do keep two pairs up here so these are just some high heels um don't really wear them that much and then a pair of boots and then just another small bag here okay so that's the end of like my mini room tour um as I said this is going there's going to be an updated one in a couple of months which is going to be a lot better than this one um don't worry so yeah stay tuned for that um, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you have, make sure to give it a thumbs up, leave me a comment down below and subscribe if you are new. I really, really appreciate it. Um, and yeah, I will see you soon with another video. Bye! Put your hand